Phone makers have been promising unbreakable phone screens for years now, but they tend to involve awkward compromises like soft, scratchable surfaces. Samsung Display might just fulfill that promise, though. Underwriters Laboratory certified an unbreakable Samsung panel as capable of surviving military-grade durability tests without damage. This included dropping it 26 times from a height of 4 feet and subjecting it to extreme temperatures. It then survived a drop test at 6 feet without any battle scars. In the video, it survived several strikes from a hammer with no damage to show for it. The key to its endurance is a flexible design that's an unbreakable substraint and an overlay window that adheres securely to the panel. There have been flexible displays on the market for years now. In fact, the Apple Watch uses one, but they tend to use glass covers that partly defeat the point. What good is an intact display if there's cracked glass on top of it? Theoretically, this could lead to truly shatter-resistant phone screens. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Samsung is updating the Galaxy S9's AR emoji feature to give users a lot more room to fine-tune the digital avatars so you can actually have a AR emoji that kinda looks like you. Unfortunately, even at their best, it seems like they're still resembling very creepy incarnations of yourself. Right now, the feature doesn't allow for a lot of customization. AR emoji snaps a picture of you that it automatically generates your avatar and only lets you adjust a few elements like skin tone and hair color. With the update though, you'll be able to adjust facial features too. You'll be able to dial in the curvature and thickness of your cheeks, chin, and neck, the shape of your eyes, and the size and position of your ears, lips, and nose. While this doesn't change the overall style of the AR emoji, which currently looks like a horrific cross between a sim and a me, it should at least allow people to create ones that better reflect them. And should Samsung ever improve the visuals of AR emoji such that people actually want to use them, that'll be an important element to have already figured out. Apple's Memoji feature does a better job of creating a fun style. From the start, it offers a variety of options for face shapes, noses, lips, and so on, allowing people more control over what they look like. But Samsung is actually going a step further in some cases by giving users sliders to let them hone specific elements. That's something that Apple may want to do eventually since its built-in options are just never going to reflect everyone. When will this AR emoji update hit our phones? Samsung actually doesn't say. They only say the update availability may vary depending on what country you're in. Ford Motor Company has said it's creating a separate $4 billion unit to house its self-driving vehicle operations and is seeking outside investors, following a similar move in late May by Detroit rival GM with its Cruise Automation Unit. GM's spinoff of Cruise drew $2.25 billion in investment from SoftBank, boosting GM's share price that day by 13%, and Ford has seemingly taken a step out of GM's playbook to try to unlock value from its self-driving business. Despite the current flurry of development activity Activity globally by dozens of established and startup companies, Ford senior management believes that the market for self-driving vehicles eventually will consolidate around three or four major players, and they want to be in the mix. Ford said it would invest $4 billion through 2023 in its newly formed Ford Autonomous Vehicles Unit. The new company, based at Ford's new Corktown campus in Detroit, will house self-driving vehicle research, engineering and systems integration, as well as business strategy and development for the automaker's self-driving vehicle fleet. Ford said it hoped to accelerate business opportunities with the creation of the new unit, which it said is structured to take on third-party investments. And finally, happening in this week's What the... Washington State authorities took to Facebook recently where they shared an image of a suspect who they said 
hid out in a dryer. The adult version of hide-and-seek never turns out well for anyone, Spokane police said. What is depicted in this body camera footage is the lengths that some suspects will go through to avoid police. Authorities explained that they were working on a tip that an offender may go back to a victim's home, thus be in violation of a protection order. Spokane police said the suspect went indoors and refused to emerge. A canine found the man and nobody was harmed, according to the Post. Yes, that is an apartment-sized stackable washer and dryer combo that he somehow fit into. Well, almost. The suspect was arrested for violating a no contact order. Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think I should feature on the program, well, send me an email, djraymcneil at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook too, at your weekly tech update, and check out our podcast, audio and video versions available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Good night, world.